Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In tonight's segment, let's travel back to nearly seven centuries to explore a hero of the Christian faith. This man was a medieval forerunner to the Protestant Reformation, a man who devoted his life to making the Bible readable to commoners. He was persecuted throughout his life by the dominant Catholic Church and even posthumously condemned as a heretic years after his death. Yet it was his faithfulness to the authority of Scripture that has encouraged thousands of Christians since he died. He was the English theologian and scholar John Wycliffe. Wycliffe was born in the year 1330 in the rural region of Yorkshire, England. He was brought up as a churchman in his early years, and in 1372, he received his doctoral degree in ministry from Oxford University. While serving as a pastor at the parish of Lutterworth, he began to express sharp disagreements with certain Roman Catholic practices. For these, he was called a heretic and a, quote, master of errors by the papal powers. Wycliffe was a pre-Reformation reformer in many ways, but most notably were his doctrine of scripture and doctrine of salvation. Now remember, during this time, the church had taught that it had the sole and final authority to interpret and even determine what the Bible said. Virtually no commoners and very few priests could read the Bible, because hardly anyone could read at all, and even less could read Latin. So no one ever challenged the church on what the Bible taught. Over and against the Catholic Church, Wycliffe rightly preached that Scripture, as the divine word of God, is the ultimate authority on all life and matters, including the actions of the Church. The Scripture governed the Church, not the other way around. Wycliffe worked tirelessly to translate the Bible to his common language of English, setting the stage for the explosion of mass Bible distribution during the next 200 years in Europe. Wycliffe also boldly taught that salvation comes not from good works or pious behavior, but through faith in Christ alone. The church at this time espoused that works, in addition to faith, were necessary for salvation. Wycliffe rightly disagreed. He once said this, Trust wholly in Christ, rely altogether on His sufferings, beware of seeking to be justified in any other way than by His righteousness. Wycliffe died in 1384, and 40 years later, the church dug up his body and burned his bones as they would have done to a heretic. But Wycliffe's faithfulness would stand as an example and hope for the reformers who would come after him, and his work would bless the church for centuries to come. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.